going on guys this is pm and i just had a lot of crazy shit this week uh one of my family members died in my family and just i've been out of the house for uh, the majority of the week and classes also school and classes have also been a huge bitch and you know i barely just have enough time just to be talking to you guys so i really really wanted to do a wi-fi battle this week but i hope you guys are understanding my circumstances they're really bad and just make sure that just be sure that I'm not being lazy. It's just that this crazy shit is going on. I mean, if you guys had a family member die in your uh, family that was very special to you, you know, what I mean, you would be sad too. So this is just like kind of a turning point in my life, I guess. Kind of, you know, he would like the person who died was pretty. I was pretty close to. So um, anyway, let's be on a happy note because <laughs> we're going to be playing some UU right now. I'm using this Thunder Wave team that I made up with like. Togekiss and Machamp. I got to page one already, so that's pretty cool. I mean, Yu Yu is not like the biggest tier, so like the big, the most common tier. So I'm gonna hopefully find a game because I mean, not that many people use, uh, you know, play Yu Yu. Like, let me scroll down to Yu Yu. Let's see how many people are actually playing it. And actually, that's a lot of people. But something that I clicked on was 200. So everyone has to be in the 200 skill point range but maybe these guys are just all noobs and they just don't have that many points but <laughs> i'm just kidding but if you want to check my um ranking i mean it's pretty high like i'm on that page one son that page one um 1326 nothing to be uh too happy about but i mean i'm gonna get i'm a headed shim packed not that far behind somalia he's he's pretty cool uh, not that far behind cheese, and I can't find where Shofu is, but I'll show. I'm not far behind Shofu either, so I'm on 33. And let's check RU just, just, just for the fuck of it. I'm on page three because I've been decaying. I used to be on page one, but I haven't played in a minute. Man, if if I play RU one day, I'll be, I'll get back to page one. But anyway, um. This is kind of awkward. I'm just kind of waiting here trying to get a battle. So anyway, we seem to have a battle here. Um, I'm going to try to make the screen a bit smaller so it can actually fit to this um, Camtasia thing. And he, the variation is not very high, which is like the thing I was pretty much fearing. Um, I did pretty much just can't lose. I mean, if the guy, if the variation is this low, I should not lose the battle. And his team is really not that threatening. I just have to play smart. So I'm using a Thunder Wave team, like I said. He might lead off with the Bronzong, but Bronzong is pretty uh, much walled by my Zatu. So I don't really know what he's going to lead off with. I'm going to go with Porygon Z just to see what he's going to do afterwards. Um, I can just pretty much scout after there. He's going to lead off with the uh, Kefragris, which I thought... I'm just going to go for the Thunder Wave first turn just to see what kind of set he's running. And he switches out into Bronzong, which could be possibly a bad thing. Because if he if he goes for Jarbolt, it'll do a lot of damage. I'm just going to go into Quillfish, possibly predicting him to predict my Zatu switching, but that didn't work out at all. I'm just going to go for uh, Spikes, uh, and I'll see what he does afterwards. He goes into Crocodile. I could have just water. Why do people do this shit? So I'm gonna predict the earthquake go out into Zatu. He goes for pursuit. I have no idea why. I'm just gonna go for a U-turn because if he goes for pursuit here, it's not gonna do jack shit because I'm. A, I mean, I'm a Zatu. I'm gonna go for U-turn. He brings in the Heracross. I can bring my Azel, which is scarfed, and. I'm just going to go for Psychic and see what he ends up doing because he might just stay in like an idiot because I'm Scarfed. And he does stay in like an idiot and I mean like he's going to go for Pursuit here so I'm kind of fucked. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> but that does give me a free switch into my champ and I don't know why he did not go for the Pursuit right there but he is he's he's pretty mad right now so. Um, he's gonna bring on the Cafagagus though, if it's, uh, oh, he, he is a, uh, whatchamacallit, sleeper. He's a trick room sweeper, but I crit him with the payback, which I guess sucks, but, I mean, honestly, though, if you're gonna be trying to do that, 
Just, just don't set up. Just try to take out the sub first. Don't set up on a sub. Try to take out the sub first. But anyway, he has a Krugerdow, which looks like an obvious switch in here. Ice Punch does 75. Payback only does 50. So I'm pretty sure Ice Punch can kill. And if he wants to be stupid and brings in brings out his Krugerdow, it's going to die. So I'm just going to go for Ice Punch. He, does, he just stays in, makes it safe for play. But, you know, sometimes you just have to do that just to be safe. He brings out the... Sukun, which actually is pretty threatening to my team. I'm just going to go for Dynamic Punch, hope for the confusion. He actually goes for Substitute, possibly predicting my switch. But I don't really want... Hmm? Hmm? I thought I gave this thing... Hello? Hello. Ability is no guard. Dynamic Punch missed. Hello? I have no guard. Can someone please help me? Oh. <laughs> Yo, I forgot about that shit. So I have the mummy ability. Did not remember that. Did not remember that. And this is not good at all. Not good at all. If he starts setting up call mines, this is not good at all. This is not good at all, though. Ah, oh, I knew this shit would happen sometime. Yo, Sweet King is one of them big threats. Oh my god. Okay, Psychic, Hidden Power. Let's bring him a champ again. This is, this is, this, it's, this is pretty, this is looking pretty, pretty bad for us over here. Let's go for Air Slash. Oh my god, and he carries Ice Beam. Uh, let's go for Roost. Ice Beam won't kill. Oh, he goes for Skull. Yo, <laughs> this is not good. Oh my god, why is this shit happening to me, though? Why do I have to lose so many points? Why is this not killing? Yo, I'm, I think I'm thinking of changing, of getting Psych Up Porygon 2. <laughs> I'm serious. Psych up Porygon 2. This is this is this is ridiculous. Psychic. This better take a, oh my god. Crocoon needs to die. <laughs> oh we should have oh my god, this is pathetic. We just lost so many points. This is not good. That battle was not very good. Once he gave me mummy on on that on my Machamp, it was pretty much GG. Oh my god, that was not a good battle at all. Gonna need a second one, to be honest, but I'm kinda mad that I lost 24 points. Okay, what's up? We finally have the battle. And this guy has a Flygon, and I love doing this thing. So my Azelf is scarfed, right? I know that my Azelf will outspeed any cut type of Flygon, so I'm just going to lead off with Azelf, and he's going to U-turn on me. I'm going to hit that bitch with the HP Ice, though. So, he actually ends up leading off with the Sableye, though. He can taunt me, which I don't want to taunt, so I'm just going to bring out Zatu, as he goes into Mew, possibly predicting that, but if I go for, let's see, if I go for Thunder Wave, it's going to bounce it back, but then... It's gonna so if I'm gonna go for Thunder Wave here. And he actually Thunder Wave the both of us, but whatever. I'm gonna go for U-turn, hopefully not get flinched, and I do get flinched, which is like, oh my god. And I go for Roost actually predicting him to go for the sucker punch, but he actually just goes for Zen Headbutt again, not really make not really sure why. I'm just gonna go for U-turn and now what should I bring out? Because he is paralyzed though. Hmm. You know what? I'm gonna bring out Azelf. And go for Stealth Rocks. He might go for Sucker Punch. There he go. There he does go for that. Hmm, he might go for Zen Headbutt here. Uh, he is plus two, which is kind of scary. Um, hmm. He probably has Drain Punch too. I'm gonna bring in Togekiss. Zen Headbutt hurt a lot. I'm gonna go for Roost, hopefully. Making sure he doesn't go for Sucker Punch. And he does not, which is pretty good. I mean, that, I'm pretty happy that he did not go for Zen Headbutt. Now, we can go for Air Slash, as he does get critted. I mean, as he does get paralyzed, but, I mean, that's the point of paralyzing someone. So, he's going to bring out Flygon. Not really scared of this thing. Like, he could outrage me, which would hurt. 
But I mean, I'm defensive enough to take one, so I'm just going to roost up, see what he does. He just goes for U-turn, not really sure why, but he's going to bring out the employee, and I'm going to bring out Machamp and just set up a sub on this thing. And he brings out the Sableye. He could, uh, I don't really know what he can do other than Nightshade, so I'm going to go for Ice Punch, just because I'm probably going to outspeed him if he does attack me, and... Like, nothing else would really make sense. He goes for a cover. That doesn't make any sense at all. I'm just going to go for Ice Punch. I don't know why he's going for a cover. If he keeps on going for a cover, I'm just going to go for Payback. Because Payback does much more. And I get a critical hit. And, man, you deserve that. Just don't use Sableye. It's just so useless. In a, it's like one of the most useless Pokemon. Yo, stop just recovering. Like, what? What are you? what are you trying to accomplish here? Like, like seriously... You, you're gonna get crit. It's doing about 50%, so this guy is being pretty stupid. I mean, I'm gonna go for Ice Punch over for that, for that freeze, though. <laughs> Hope for that freeze. I mean, what is, what is he trying to accomplish here? He goes into Arcanine. Uh, no, not a problem at all. I'm not even worried. I'm, I don't like switching out on a on a free sub. I'm just going to go for another sub, see what he does. He goes for extreme speed, which is a cool move to go for. We're just going to go for dynamic punch again. And I don't really know why I said, or I don't really know why I said we, but I'm just going to take him out with that. He brings out the Roserade, could put me to sleep. I'm just going to bring out Zatu. He goes for sleep pod, so he is running that set. So what should I do here? I'm going to bring out Azelf. I do carry the Psychic, which could take it out, but he could easily predict that and bring out his Empoleon. So, what I'm thinking about doing is pulling a. I'm gonna bring an Azelf. Psychic. Obvious Psychic is obvious. So, he might bring out the Empoleon. And we got the Machamp. So, this. Okay, he brings out the Sableye, which I don't want. <laughs> I don't want the Sableye. This was not a good thing. Oh my god. Hmm, let's bring up Porygon to trace the prankster and we can get a prankster thunder wave off which is really good just so this thing can get para hacks and that will be really good for us and we also he burned us so that means we can't get um we can't get uh we can't we can't get um we can't get put to sleep and he brings out the Empoleon not really afraid of this thing at all um like I said, like I'm, I'm burned, which isn't a big deal. But I, I carry Thunder Wave, I carry Thunderbolt. Like Employee does not have any recovery moves, so Porygon Two is a baller. Like he brings out Roserade. Not really sure why, cause nothing on it, nothing can really hurt me. He goes for Sludge Bomb. Like look at that pathetic damage. You, uh, this and he has Life Orb too. Like this is just showing how baller Porygon Two is. I'm actually running not even max special defense. I'm running some defense investment too. This Porygon 2 is a monster. Um, okay. I don't really know why you're mad though. I'm just going to go for recover. He might go for rest. But I'm not really caring because I can just recover. Well, he just goes for the sludge bomb. That's cool. And he brings out the Flygon. I don't really need Porygon 2 because... Uh, Mm, Porygon 2 would be nice. I was going to go for a cover. If he goes for Outrage, it might kill, but it does 36. Yo, Porygon 2 is a motherfucking champ. <laughs> Look, like, this is pathetic damage right here. He got some Fuse, and he's going to hit through Confusion. And I'm going to end the Star War right here. And... Hmm, he's going to hit himself sometime. He's bound to hit himself. But no, he is not going to hit himself. But he's going to he's gonna forfeit, which is a smart play. And I'm just going to have one more battle just because my like the finding the battles has been kind of cut up. But I'm just going to put all these three battles together in one just because three battles won't really be that long if you cut out all the time in between. So this will be the last battle, and I want to get a good one, because the first one, I just played stupid. I mean, I am kind of weak to Crocoon, I do admit. Like, if I had Psych, Psych, 
psych up on Porygon 2. That'd be pretty funny, but I don't. And I don't have Haze on my on my Quillfish either. I should put one of those moves on my Quillfish. You know what? I'm going to do that right now. I'm going to change the move set, and I'm going to be right back. And you, you won't even know it. Like, I, I gave Ton on my Quillfish. Now now it's haze. Like you you don't even you didn't even realize. You didn't even realize it was, I changed it. So here we go. We have our probably last battle against this guy. He has a pretty solid team, but you know, he's pretty weak to Thunder Wave, so uh, you know what I'm saying we're gonna try to destroy this guy's team. So we're gonna lead off with the Azelf and hopefully he won't go for Self Dox first turn. He goes and leads off with the Rotom C. Okay, hmm, 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 what should we do here? Like, it, like I don't want to give away the fact that I'm scarfed. So, I'm just going to switch on to Porygon to trying to bluff the fact that I'm not scarfed and I'm actually like a banded or sash lead, which I really want to do. And I want to see what he's going to bring out. He brings out the Heracross, though. Uh, he could go for close combat. He could go for... Mega Horn breaking my switch, but I'm just gonna bring out Quillfish. It is my easy, my obvious switch. He brings out the Rotom C. Uh, I mean, like he's doing this thing, but sometime or another, he we're gonna catch on, and it's really just not gonna work out for him. So, like he can keep on doing it, but after a while, I'll, someone's gonna, like that person's gonna catch on. So, he he like, he's gonna go for Mega Horn here, and I'm gonna go for Thunder Wave here. Because if he brings out the Swampert, it's not really a big threat. And he brings out the Rotom C, which is perfect. Getting that thing crippled is great. So he's going to go for Volt Switch here. I know I definitely can't take one. And... Because Quillfish can't do shit against Rotom Cut. So... Nothing really wants to take a Thunder move. That's why Rotom Porygon 2 is kind of taking a lot of abuse here. Could fodder it out, but... It would not be really good to fodder this thing out so early in the game. So I could uh, bait in the Heracross by going into Azelf right here. Because Azelf does not have that much use. You know, I'm going to try that right now. I'm going to bait in the, the uh, Heracross and bring out my Azelf. Hopefully he falls for the bait and brings out his um, Heracross. Because if he does, he is going to be a dead Heracross. Yo, Heracross, what's good with your son? <laughs> That hair, that hair cross was done. He did not see that shit coming. Yo, that was a good bluff. I don't care if I'm giving myself head. That was a good bluff. Oh my god. He brings out the Mew knowing that I am uh, choice locked. I don't know what he could go for. I'm just going to bring out Zatu. Hopefully, he does not. he's not a, a, a life orb set, but he is. He has sword stance. And this is not good. He Why are all these people running this shit? Okay, I'm going to go for... Going for Zen Headbutt, not a big deal. You know, I'm gonna go for U turn because he's okay. He brings out the Rotom C. Rotom C definitely outspeeds us. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> okay. Hair cross is done, so I'm gonna bring out this thing, and he gets Parahax, which is cool. He might go for Thunder. He might go for it again. I'm just gonna go for recover. I don't really care. This thing is not a big threat. I'm gonna go for Ice Beam here, and I'm sorry for the hacks, dude, but. I mean, it happens. Like, there's nothing to complain about. He brings up the Kabalion, though. Don't want him setting up. Rotom C isn't a big threat. I'm going to Thunder Wave. And he goes for... Oh, this is not good. This is not good. Not good. Not good. Not good. Not good. Oh, God. This is not good at all. No. <laughs> Oh, oh no. Okay, I broke the sub, which is good. And then, now, what do we do? Yo, that's not a bad set, if I think about it. Okay, he's plus two. This is not good at all. Like, there is nothing at all which is good about the situation right now. I could go into Cool Fish and Haze. That's my best option right now. I just got Haze on this thing, and if he does not kick me out with any move, 
Yes, Hayes. Yes. Yes, but it's not taking him out. Okay, I just need a haze as much as possible. I'm going to waterfall right here. He's going to go for another uh, substitute, so I'm going to just haze again. I'm just going to make sure that he does not have any calm minds up. That is my only hope. I just need a haze, haze, haze. And and he has hidden power. I'm not really sure. It could be hidden power dark just because, you know, subs and whatnot. I'm going to go into Azelf knowing that I will be able to take it out with, a, like, take out the sub with the psychic. He goes for hidden power, which is super effective. Probably dark. I'm going to bring out my champ. I'm going to go for a substitute. I'm not fearing anything. He goes into Rotom C, which is going to get demolished by the Ice Punch. And I, we are looking very good right now. I am very happy that I got up those, um, that I got up those, uh, that Haze. Like, if, if I did not have Haze on my Quillfish, I would have lost this game. So, I could go for a Dynamic Punch, but I could go for Payback and try to be a bitch. But I am going to go for Dynamic Punch. Just getting that Parafusion up in here, that is the main purpose of this team. I'm going to use that to my advantage. And there we go, he hits himself twice in a row. And he is saying good G, uh, GG, Sai. So I guess this guy did think uh, this game is over. I said GG. Um, Hayes won me the game. Whatever. Like, you can be a bad sport about it if you want. But, like, oh, my God. Like, I just don't like these people. Okay, I have three other Pokemon. Didn't really matter that much. You being a bad <laughs> sport at a children's game you you proud about that <laughs> like honestly I don't understand people who are who just get mad like this I honestly don't see the point but I'm not complaining I get unlucky, but shake it a year. I don't take this seriously. Like, people like this, I just don't understand. And he's like, I see what you say if you got my kind of luck. Like, just watch some of my older videos. I lost, I missed three overheats in a row. I don't complain. Like, it's a game, dude. And moral of this thing is just do whatever it takes to win. Hacks will be a bitch to you either way. And, I mean, it's impossible for Hacks to be always against you or always for you. And that's just the moral of this battle and moral of this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. This is PM, and this has been really long, but I am going to cut this up. So anyway, this is PM, and deuces, guys.